The human eye is a complex organ that provides one of our most treasured senses, sight. At the back of the eye is a region called the macula, which is a specialized area of the retina that is responsible for central vision. The center of this region is known as the fovea. The retina is the light-sensitive inner lining of the eye, which contains nerves, blood vessels, and photoreceptor cells referred to as rods and cones. Diabetic macular edema, or DME, occurs as a result of increased vascular permeability, which promotes the accumulation of fluid and protein deposits in the macula region of the retina. This causes retinal swelling and damage, leading to visual impairment. The VEGFA is a protein which promotes vascular permeability via the activation of its receptor found on the surface of endothelial cells. In DME, elevated VEGF levels increase vascular permeability by loosening the tight junctions between endothelial cells in the walls of the capillaries. As the junctions loosen, the intravascular fluid leaks out into the surrounding tissues of the retina. Increased vascular permeability promotes the formation of macular edema and the deposits of hard exudates, both of which disrupt the morphology of the retina and may lead to visual impairment. Patients suffering from visual impairment due to DME may experience blurred central vision. Ranibizumab, known as Lucentis, is a humanized monoclonal antibody fragment that binds to and inhibits multiple isoforms of VEGFA. Inhibition of VEGFA signaling strengthens tight junctions which reduce vascular leakage. A decrease in vascular permeability diminishes the formation of macular edema, which can lead to visual impairment and diabetes. Treatment of macular edema may alleviate the visual impairment associated with DME.